I've only been back to Australia a couple of times. But as soon as I got off the plane, I felt like an alien yeah. in my own country. Because I'd become, there, there was a magic in Pakistan. There was something so uh, powerful here and so beautiful under the greyness, under the, the dust, under the, um, the chaos of Karachi, yeah. under the, the poverty, the pollution, yet something was shining through. So I got off, I got off a plane in, in Sydney and I thought, yeah, no, what have I come back here for? And I felt completely out of place. But you feel completely at home here? I feel a lot more at home here now than I did in Australia, than I, than I do when I go back to Australia. But do you think people here totally accept you now? I think they do. Uh, I'm a Muslim. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that helps. Uh, that helps so much. So, so do you think that if, I'm, if I were to live here permanently, converting to Islam is something that one has to do to become fully accepted? I think we don't even think like that. I think becoming a Muslim is between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not a matter of becoming a Muslim to fit right. in. Right. It's becoming a Muslim because you have to become a Muslim. And do you think I, I can live here as a non-Muslim and fit in and be accepted? Look, you thought, no, no, you thought. No, I was very sad when I wanted to run back to Australia. Oh, yes. But when I got here, Pakistan, the way I, I described it in, in some writing I was doing, I said Pakistan ripped me apart. It ripped me apart because I felt love coming to me from mm -hmm. so many people. Yeah. And I just was reciprocating with love. And it was everywhere I went. I, didn't, I mean, I would be crying because I'd be encountering humanity. Humanity in exalted humanity, bereft humanity. Poverty stricken, every conceivable thing, every conceivable type of person. And I had this amazing love, which I'd never had in Australia. I'd never sort of really experienced that. It, I mean, I wanted to run away, but I didn't run away. I said, okay, Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, God has put me here for a reason. There's something here for me. And I've got to just hang in. And inshallah, it will reveal itself, you know? We're all the work's done. And these are some of my books. Uh -huh.